Hello everyone, uh, today we will be talking about appendicitis. Uh, appendicitis is basically an inflammation of the appendix, which is a couple of inches of tube of tissue that extends from the large intestine. And it usually results from obstruction, inflammation, and definitely an infection. Okay. Now, appendicitis is a medical emergency, which means that it needs surgery to uh, remove the appendix, okay? And if left untreated, an inflamed appendix will eventually burst, or what we call perforate, and it can spill infectious materials into the, the abdominal cavity, which can then lead to peritonitis, which is a serious inflammation of the, the ab abdominal cavity lining, and, and this can be fatal, okay? Now, let's look at the symptoms of appendicitis. Now, dull pain near the navel or uh, upper abdomen that becomes sharp, as it moves to the lower right of the abdomen is usually the first sign, okay? So for the NCLEX exam, try to remember the what we call McBurney's point, which is basically the name given to the point over the, the right side of the abdomen that is one-third of the distance from the anterior superior iliac spine to the umbilicus or the navel area of the body, okay? And basically this point roughly corresponds to the, the common location at the base of the appendix okay where it kind of um, connects with the cecum right now also there would be for uh, more symptoms there would be a loss of appetite there would be nausea and vomiting uh, definitely abdominal swelling and there can be a fever a high fever and severe abdominal cramps okay so how do we diagnose um, our patients with appendicitis well it can be sometimes tricky because the symptoms of appendicitis like I mentioned before are frequently very vague and very very extremely similar to other problems so uh, several following several tests are, are gonna be usually used to uh, help make a better diagnosis and that includes uh, abdominal exam to detect the inflammation right uh, there would be a urine test to rule out uh, a UTI or a urinary tract infection the physician can also do a rectal exam and uh, a blood test can be done to see if there's an infection in the body okay and also uh, a CT scan and or uh, ultrasound will also be done so how do we treat our patients with appendicitis like I mentioned before surgery is going to be needed to remove the appendix uh, and we call this appendectomy and it's the the standard treatment for almost all cases of appendicitis now generally if appendicitis is suspected the doctor will quickly remove the appendix to, uh, to avoid the rupture right and if the appendix has formed uh, an abscess you may have two procedures that can be done one is to drain the abscess of uh, pus and fluid outside the body and the other one would be to remove the appendix so those are your only two options now remember with appendectomy antibiotics are given uh, before appendectomy to fight possible peritonitis or other infection and general anesthesia would usually be given and nowadays usually the appendix is removed through laparoscopy which is just a four inch incision done uh, in the stomach now after the appendectomy post-op as the nurse you got to make sure to watch the patient for signs of an increased pain in the abdomen or uh, especially blood in the vomit or in the urine uh, redness in the incision area or a high fever because uh, any of these signs can trigger a major issue therefore the physician should be prompted as soon as possible okay now this is just a quick short review thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and I wish you guys the best in your exam I know you guys will do well thank you and God bless